Today on Apocalypse Auto, we're doing something we've never done before because we reached 20,000 subscribers. <laughs> Thanks to you guys. And for this special episode, we actually found a sponsor, which is Nylite. And they sent us a mystery box. Oh. Hey, <laughs> Wayne, what's in it? It's like Christmas. I don't know, I don't know. I'm so excited. I can't hardly contain myself. Thanks. It's a box. In a box. Ooh, with air. Ooh. Came with a wiring harness. Wow. A large, very reflective switch. Looks decent. Nice. Ooh. Look at those puppies. Yeah, each one of those is a little tiny flashlight. Yeah. Right. Wow. Those are heavy. Yeah, those are hefty, dude. Now you that can tell a, when it hit me. There's a lot of heavy. heat sink, which would mean that they're pumping out some power. Wow. That's actually very heavy duty. Yeah, I'm excited. These are awesome. Looks packaged well. Okay, so 3 comes with hardware. The hardware to mount. Nylite sought out Apocalypse Auto so we can do an unboxing video to show all our viewers what a high quality product looks like. And Nylite most definitely is that. Providing affordable yet high quality products with a long lifespan of 30,000 plus hours. The stainless steel mounting brackets are rust proof and anti corrosive. The die cast aluminum housings are good for dissipating heat and they're also waterproof and dust proof. If you still have questions about Nylite, well, we're here to tell you that Nylite has the belief to explore the unknown dark world. With Nylite's light bars, the road towards your home will be safe and bright. So don't forget to go into the link in the description for all your Nylite needs. Check out some sweet state-of-the-art LED lights and watch the videos on how to install them properly here. Apocalypse Auto is incredibly proud to have Nylite as their LED light sponsor. All right, so while we wait for it to get dark outside so we can show you what these lights will do, it's time to read some mean comments that we've received online. So the first mean comments we're going to look at are about Shane's van. Well, Kyle Stivers says, a pedophile's dream van. Well, maybe for him, but I'm not really into kids. <laughs> Maria Sandoval? You should call it the rape van? Sounds like maybe you should get in touch with Kyle Stivers because you guys got something going on. <laughs> Another one from the van episode. He is very angry about us blowing up that tree. Wow, so next on the list we got Patriot Jefferson. What the fuck is wrong with you? Pieces of shit. Murdered trees for laughs. Fuck you, blow your hands off. <laughs> wow, that seems a little extreme considering the tree was dead. We also had a permit to cut firewood, and thankfully, it heated this man's house through the brutal Montana winters. It's true. So in no way was anything wasted. Yeah, we didn't murder any trees in the making of that film. All that firewood was used by me <laughs> to heat my house. And produce these videos. Yeah, it kept me yeah. alive through the brutal Montana cold. Oh, this is my favorite one. Welcome to episode three of the Row Kill Ripoff, where we say stupid shit to seem funny and play bad music to seem professional. I mean, I don't even consider that an insult, because he fucking said we're funny and professional. Yeah. And he compared yeah. us to Roadkill. Um, so... I'm taking a compliment yeah, on that yeah. one. I'm not even mad. What is his name? Cool, man. Luke yeah, High? Yeah, thanks, Luke. Oh. Thanks, Estebianxa. You're stupid. Very constructive. Yes, original. And boring. Oh, you hear that? Rick Wall? Rick Wall is saying that our show is boring, which means that all of you subscribers are subscribed to a boring show. And you're but dumb. that would be an insult to you guys, so that can't be true. Who thumbs up this, by the way? One that's, guy liked this? That's just... One person liked that. Wow. We'll, we'll lose the one person. I think <laughs> we're okay with that. Alright, next. The Three Amigos. Leave the YouTube shows to the pros. 
Take your wannabe asses back to the swamps. <laughs> wow. We, we Thanks. We don't have any swamps. We're this in the is hills. Montana. This is Montana. Yeah. It's the Rocky Mountains, we're, dude. We're hillbillies. <laughs> Not swamp billies. <laughs> There's a difference. We don't talk like this. It ain't Louisiana. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, next. Oh, this one's a long one. Oh, Mr. John Christ. Yeah, it's a good one, though. You might be needing those vehicles very soon. Did you see the other planet in front of the sun? I hope to tell you, you better be ready, spiritually, mentally, and physically. And in that order, where you will not make it through what is coming. Awesome vehicle. Many say by April or May 2017, it will be here. 2017? <laughs> yeah. That was a while ago. <laughs> we made it. We survived. survived. Yes, yeah, you were wrong, buddy. I'm sorry. But yeah, that guy, he was reading too deep into the videos. Did you see the other planet in front of the sun? So we have got a lot of comments about there being a black dot in front of the sun in some of our videos. And it's just because we use shitty cameras. Yeah, it's not a conspiracy. <laughs> There's no aliens in front of the sun. Yeah, nobody's trying to harness it, energy. Well, it's literally our $50 GoPros yes. or GoPro wannabes. Look at these. Yeah. What? 50 bucks on Amazon. Get yourself a badass sports camera. Yeah. Sorry, we use cheap cameras. <laughs> but if you help us with our Patreon, we might be able to get some better ones. Ooh, what do you think about that? <laughs> All right, next. Night Fang Fox? Night Fang Fox. This is my first video I've watched from you guys, and I was kind of hoping your names would be Dwayne, Shane, and Payne. Uh, I want to be Pain, dude. <laughs> yeah. That one got 17 likes. Wow. All right, I'm changing Where, my name. I don't want to change my name, Dwayne. Pain. You get to I'm keep Wayne. your name. That's not fair. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next. Ooh. I think it's aluminum. Dude. I almost guarantee it's not steel. I don't know these guys. I don't know. Wow, dude. We just found a new use for the nightlight. Next. Juan Garcia. Juan Garcia. Thanks for you. Thanks you for let us know for not to buy a car from you guys. Wow, that was hard to read. Machine wow. slash gun slash funk slash 007 dirty jersey says when you have more meth than money I think you have more meth in your name than anything <laughs> what is going on there uh, right he's obviously a fucking hardcore rapper dude machine gun funk 007 dirty jersey uh, so if we had more meth than we had money instead of turning the camper into a car hauler we would have been Making meth yeah. in it. Yeah. So that proves it right there. We you know, took the meth lab have... and turned it into a car hauler. We can make some money. <laughs> Next! <laughs> Jammer Man. Is this the found footage of the Blair Witch Project? Or are you guys off your Parkinson meds? <laughs> One like. Yeah, we we have no meds. Next. Next. <laughs> Wow, I think the person who stole it was trying to save the car from what you had already done to the poor car. It couldn't look any worse than before it was stolen. <laughs> wow, I your English teacher is probably Holy having a heart attack right crap. now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, when you graduate the second grade come back and try and make an actual comment. <laughs> yeah, I know it's hard. Kenneth DeCamp Jr. You guys are awesome. Just binge watch six episodes. How do you guys get started as far as funding? Well, we uh, didn't for two years. <laughs> yeah. We don't have any funding. We work full-time jobs, uh, doing what we can, making money. Yeah. And we then we fund do this on the side. I got a wallet and I pull money out of it. And throw it, just throw it yeah, at the 
hole in the ground. There's a hole, and you just start throwing cash right. at it until it's full. <laughs> so, All for the right. sake of entertaining these buttholes. <laughs> oh, sorry. This guy wasn't being a butthole. Oh, yeah. He had a legitimate question. Kenneth. Yeah, thanks, Kenneth. So, speaking of funding, you guys are asking, we have these awesome shirts that we are trying to sell. We would Ooh. love for you guys to buy them. Ooh. We also have Apocalypse Auto stickers. Awesome gas mask sticker. Windshield stickers. They all come in red, black, or white. Your choosing. Please check out our Etsy account. Help fund us. Maybe we can get some better cameras. Buy our stuff. Maybe we can make this better. <laughs> Good plug. All right. Hey, Rockabilly Rambler. Hmm. This one, this one kind of touches a nerve. Oh, that's a little close to home. As a balls of the wall Toyota fanboy, I am jealous of your sweet Tacoma. Hmm. That is all. Wayne's sweet Tacoma. The guy that I sold that truck to eventually rolled it down a cliff. We got a message from a friend of ours at one of the other dealerships in town. They had it pulled in. It was totaled out. It looks very And all we have sad. is these two pictures. Yeah. If we find out any more information about it, we'll let you know. How about a toast to the Adventure Taco? Adventure Taco! Adventure Taco! <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> Wayne no longer loves his Toyota. G-Man 1727AK47. Bam. That's a name. And his profile picture is an AK47. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Wow. Well, holy shit, this is some good content right here. Discovery Channel, take a note. Wow. All right. Before you respond, read this one. Robert Urban. You guys are insane. In an awesome kind of way. Keep on filming. Discovery Channel, here we come. <laughs> Discovery Channel, I hope you're paying attention. Because uh, you had your chance once. You yep. blew it. Focus. Now you can have your chance again. Come yeah. on. Pay We're attention. doing it without you. Help us out. All right, well, that was fun, but it looks like that's the end. We're going to end the episode uh, checking out these crazy new lights. Tell us what you think in the comments, and uh, as always, thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers. That sucker is bright. Ooh. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. Wayne, turn your brights on. Oh, it's like nothing. That thing is so bright. Film it over there. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, that is incredible. Nice. Good for working under your hood. <laughs> it's got so many applications. Cheers to you.